What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unhinged Talk. As usual, I'm your host, Patrick Hesse, joined tonight by the man, Brandon Kramer. How are we doing tonight, Brandon? Doing great. How about you? Can't complain. Uh, we are about a week and a half away from the beginning of the regular season. Love to see it. Um, however, before we do talk about what we want to talk about tonight, uh, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Leave a comment, too. That's new. Leave a comment. Do it. Um, but today, I do want to talk about some Yankees news that we have gotten uh, they sent down Mike Ford to the minor leagues, um, as well as three other players, I believe Brooks Krischke, Albert Abreu, and Thyro Estrada. Um, to be honest with you, like, I don't think that this should come as a surprise to anybody. Uh, I don't think Mike Ford really had any shot of making the major league roster. Now, if Derek Dietrich and Jay Bruce were, that, were out of the equation, as well as Mike Talkman, yeah, Ford would have had a solid chance of making it. Also, if he didn't have such a bad 2020, yeah, he would have been in the hunt much more. Um, but I don't think that this is like a knock on Mike Ford, him being sent down. I think it's just a representation of how deep the Yankees bench options currently are, especially on the left-handed side. Like I mentioned, I mean, as far as like left-handed power goes, the Yankees have Derek Dietrich and Jay Bruce's options for the bench. And also Mike Talkman, who was a solid left-handed hitter option. So I think unfortunately Ford was just the odd man out in, in, in those, in, in those guys, you know? Yeah. I mean, Ford being sent down opens up the book for Jay Bruce to actually make the team and actually improves his chances greatly because Mike Ford was really the only guy kind of taking that second backup first baseman job. Um, so that really helps um, Jay Bruce. I'm not sure about Derek Dietrich. He's still alive, so that's good um, in the kind of the chase for that bench spot. But, I mean, the – it's just going to be interesting because, as you stated, Ford was awful last year. I mean, I don't know that that doesn't even do him justice of how bad he was. Yeah. Um, but it just give him some more reps down in AAA. Kind of gives him a chance to keep that back going. Maybe they end up using him for trade bait. I just don't see right now a spot where Mike Ford is better than any of the options we have right now. Yeah, I mean, looking at Ford's stats from last season, uh, they were pretty putrid. He he played in twenty nine games. Uh, batted 135 with a 226 on base percentage and uh, two home runs. So, yeah, my, it, it was definitely a far cry from his 2019 when he played in 50 games, hit 12 home runs, 25 RBIs, batted 259 with a 350 on base and a 559 slugging. 2019 was really good for Mike Ford. Like, I think that we can't put that past him. Like, he came up in that whole next man mentality wave and he dominated. Like, clutch at bats, he, he was huge off the bench. And I think it's unfortunate because the Yankees were expecting that out of him in 2020, and they just didn't get that from him. Maybe what 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 the issue was with Ford in 2020 was the inconsistent playing time. Um, I know that that could get to a lot of guys, especially guys who aren't used to not playing every day. So do you think maybe that could, could have been why he struggled last year? Definitely, but I mean, he was just – I mean, do you remember when uh, A-Rod – literally compared him to Babe Ruth, and that was yes. the last game he had a home run. I mean, yes, it was all downhill from there. I mean, could it have been that? Yes, but, I mean, he was just that bad. He wasn't being disciplined at all. He was missing fastballs down the middle. I mean, it, it was just really bad. Just Hopefully, it was just like a case of the 2020s is what we'll say, of just everyone having that bad year, but who knows at this point. But there was no spot for him to get consistent at-bats on the major league level, and honestly, we have much better options right now instead of uh, Mike Ford. Yeah, um, I guess we'll address the other guys that were sent down a little bit. Thyro Estrada, um, I think he's another guy who kind of goes in the same class as Mike Ford of they were impressive in 2019, and then 2020 comes around, kind of high hopes for them going into the year. And once again, Thyro Estrada is another guy, extremely disappointing. Um, I don't have his numbers up in front of me right now, but I know that they were pretty bad. And I think even in the alternate site, Thyro Estrada, well, not the alternate site, in summer camp, last year he was he was even impressive so what, what do you think about him him being sent down another case of i mean with estrada i mean in 2019 he was really good i mean he could play anywhere um was really good it's just a contact hitter with some pop yeah. um and coming into the season like okay he'll be if he can just hit well we won't have to deal with tyler wade playing shortstop yeah but not I only mean, did tyler Ty, tyro Estrada not hit he couldn't, he couldn't do anything. I mean, Wade was a better hitter, honestly, and that says a lot. No, I know. I mean, I have his numbers in front of me now. Uh, in Last year in 2020, he played in 26 games, one home run, three RBIs, 
Uh, batted 167 with a 231 on base and a 229 slugging. His slugging was lower than his on base percentage. That's that's disgusting. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I, I but, have uh, I the last time I've seen that. That's a far cry from his 2019 when he played in 35 games, uh, three home runs, 12 RBIs, batted 250 with a 294 on base and a 438 slugging. Now those aren't like exceptional numbers by any means, but that's like a decent backup middle infielder. Like I would take those numbers. So I think maybe Thyra Stroud is probably just another case of like the Mike Ford where they're so used to getting like consistent at bats every day. Um, and then transitioning to being like a bench role and being option between the alternate side and, and being on the major league roster. It's definitely a confusing situation for them. Um, so maybe I think Thyra Stroud and Mike Ford are two guys that are going to benefit heavily from a full minor league season this year in triple a, and who knows, maybe they can make some sort of progress, uh, maybe even work themselves up so well that they become a trade bait. Uh, two other guys that were sent down as well were Albert Abreu and Brooks Krisky. Brent, I know last year when Brooks Krisky came up, you were super high on him. Yeah, it was him and Nick Nelson. I mean, Krisky yeah. has has good stuff. I mean, I think he also features a splitter, but he's just another case of a guy that was brought up a little bit too early with the yeah. advantage of 2020. Um, Albert Abreu, kind of the same. Surprised he has another option. I think it's his fourth year option, which is crazy. Uh, he's the. Uh, I think we got him in the Brian McCann trade to yeah. Houston. So he's a guy, electric arm, great slider. No control needs more work in the minor leagues. Um, he's a guy. It's, it's interesting that he's going to be starting in Triple A. I like how a lot of these players, especially um, the ones that maybe even have skipped Double A now, that are starting in Triple A, really just throwing them into the fire and being like, "Hey, if you want to be able to make this team, you got to prove it at the highest minor league level." And I mean, the minor league, our Triple A team, they fixed Chad Green, so hopefully, yeah. there's just like that secret sauce in our Triple A. Yeah, I mean, the whole Albert Abreu thing is kind of disappointing because. One guy I could kind of compare him to was like Luis Medina. Um, just in the sense of like they throw hard, they have good stuff, but it just seems like the control is always the issue. So I know when we first acquired um Abreu from Houston, like he was touted as like one of the most low key arms in the Yankee system. As time has gone on, he kind of hasn't proven it at the major league level. So, like you said, hopefully in triple A, um, he could put something together. I don't know. I think he does have the potential to be a decent reliever, though. Like, if we're talking about Abreu and Krisky, I think out of those two, Abreu definitely has more potential. Yeah, well, yeah, Abreu's um, estimated time of arrival was 2022-2023, um, so we're still about a year away. Like, yeah. we got him when he was really young. That Didn't he make his debut in 2019? I think, no. He made or did he make it this year? 2020. Oh, okay. It was against the Rays in Tampa. I don't know why I remember that, but I just do. I guess you um, do, Brandon. I guess. But he, he he just needs more time. A bunch of these guys just need more time. And the reason yeah. why they were brought up in the in to the majors is because there was no minor league season. So they kind of just needed work. And yeah. I mean, in 2020, we just threw out arms just to eat up innings from our main guys. We Clark we find anyway. <laughs> literally. So um this honestly, I, I believe Schmidt also will just start in triple A. So that triple A team is gonna be stacked. No, yeah, um, definitely it's going to be stacked, um, but that is going to wrap things up for us today. Hopefully the Yankees don't make any more crazy roster moves. Jay Bruce, keep him on the bench. Derek Dietrich, keep him on the bench. Tyler Wade, maybe you got to send him down. I don't know. We'll see. But that is going to wrap things up for us today. Uh, we will see you guys next time. We do go live every night, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Daily uploads every day at 12 p.m. Eastern time as well. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you do know when we go live every night, 9 p.m. And upload every day at 12. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Peace.